I always saw Badfinger was they were a classic English pop band. Joyous, exuberant lyrics, typewrite harmonies, immaculately produced arrangements, all jammed into two minutes. Many years have passed since the tragic suicides of Pete Ham and Tom Evans, but Badfinger is still being discovered by a new generation of fans. In 1994, Mariah Carey hit the pop charts with her cover of Badfinger's classic song, Without You, written by Pete Ham and Tom Evans. The next year, the Songwriters Association, ASCAP, honored Without You as one of the most performed songs of 94. Joey Mollen, Mike Gibbons, and former manager Bill Collins attended the ceremony, as did Marianne Evans and her 18-year-old son, Stephen. But on what should have been a triumphant night, Badfinger seemed jinxed again. We all went up on the stage to pick up these awards, and they said, they announced it right out there, and writers, uh, Peter Ham, Tommy Evans, Joey Mullen, Mike Gibbons, Bill Collins. I, I didn't know it was gonna stay, I wrote a frigging song, like, you know what I mean? I mean, cause I, I wouldn't have turned up if that was the case. Everybody knows Pete Ham and Tommy wrote that song. I was disappointed that five guys go on stage and two guys wrote the song. Well, ever since then, you know, uh, it's been the story that Joey Mullins said he wrote without you, which is bullshit. When we got the award, I felt great about it. And it wasn't, it wasn't for me. It was because it was the song had won the award. And I thought that was a great achievement. I thought it was great. The controversy at the ASCAP Awards was another example of Badfinger's emotional legacy of sadness and song. Today, Joey keeps the songs alive as he tours with Joey Mullins Badfinger. If I don't do them, who the hell else is going to do those songs? You tell me. You know, and who else is going to say, this is a Peter Ham song, or this is a Tommy Evans song? That's what I do at my shows. I still have to use the name Badfinger. I can't get gigs under the name Joy Mullen, it's impossible. I make like 50 bucks a night, and you can't pay the gas out of 50 bucks a night. For better or worse, music, not money, came first for the members of Badfinger and their memorable catalog of song was recently celebrated in a collection of their greatest hits, released by Capitol Records in the fall of 2000. Me, dear brother. On a more intimate note, two recent CDs featured demos of songs Pete Ham worked on during his long nights alone in the studio. If you look back at the old demos, everybody's, I mean, moaning and groaning, and, and he's singing sweet, you know what I'm saying? He was a melody man. Those melodies continued to haunt Badfinger fans, along with bittersweet thoughts of what might have been. You have a record deal, the Beatles are backing you up, you're on the record label. But look what happens when you have bad management. It doesn't matter, it just goes. All I see should be confessed. We wish we could have stopped them. You can't stop certain things. And it just had to run its course. The talent was unbelievable. As songwriters, Pete and Tom would have just been, they would have been a, a Lennon-McCartney team eventually. There was so much more to be done with that group, so much further to go. These were kids that were bamboozled, and it's a shame that things like this happen in the record business. Well, you've got to get a lawyer, you know, and, and you've got to read these contracts. We, we never read a contract in our life. Perhaps the real tragedy of Badfinger is not that they never became the next Beatles, but that they barely had a chance to be Badfinger. When we lost Badfinger, I think we lost innocence. You know, they weren't expecting millions. They just wanted to go out and play the songs and for the public to hear them. They enjoyed that a lot.